To make sure your microphone is not on mute, take a close look at it. Oftentimes, many USB microphones, headset microphones, condenser microphones have a mute button on them. So go ahead, press that button and check your microphone now to see if it's working. If you are using a laptop and you are using the microphone that comes inside of it, there may be a mute button on the keyboard as well. Oftentimes, it looks something like this. The second way of fixing this is to make sure that your apps are allowed to use your microphone. To do that, click the start button and then type microphone privacy. And then from the search results, select microphone privacy settings. All right, and now this will take you to the privacy settings for your microphone. Under where it says allow apps to access your microphone, click this button right here to toggle it on. And this will enable by default apps to access your microphone. Now, even after enabling access to the microphone, make sure to double check the list of apps because by default, a few of them may still be disabled. As you can see right here from this list, my voice recorder app, the microphone for it is disabled by default. So let me toggle that on and there you go. It's now enabled. Now, if your app was in fact preventing microphone access, go ahead and try it right now to see if it is working. The third way of fixing this is to make sure that the correct microphone is set as the default device. To do that, click the start button and then type sound settings. And then from the search results, select sound settings. After this, you will see categories for sound output and sound input. Well, simply put, the sound output is for your playback devices like headphones, speakers, and so on. And sound input is for your recording devices like your microphone. And that's why we are going to focus on the input devices. Under where it says choose your input device, click this drop down menu to select the default microphone. As you can see, for me, in my case, I have two microphones, the microphone that came with my laptop and the Blue Yeti USB condenser microphone. Because in my case, the Blue Yeti microphone is the better microphone, I am going to choose that as the default device. So in your case, choose the microphone that is best for you. And interestingly, you can test to see if your microphone is working right here on the spot, because under where it says test your microphone, you notice that as you are speaking, uh, this blue volume indicator is moving. For example, if I say louder, louder and louder, notice how it adjusts to my voice. Now, if you click where it says device properties, you can manage this even further. For example, it even allows you to change the maximum volume of your microphone. So go ahead, tweak those settings to see what is best for you. The fourth way of fixing this is to make sure that the right microphone is chosen for a specific app you are using. To do that, you are going to go back to the sound settings. So simply click start, type sound settings, and then from the search results, select sound settings. All right, now go all the way down and go to where it says advanced sound options and click where it says app volume and device preferences. And now you will see a bunch of controls, but don't worry, it's very simple and straightforward. On top are the master controls. So whatever you choose as the input device here on top, that will be the input device for all of your apps. Now, to be more specific, let's scroll down here. And as you can see, there are a list of apps. If you click on the second box for any app, you can choose specifically which microphone you want that app to use. So let's say for some reason, an app like Zoom kept choosing the wrong microphone. Well, you can specifically set the correct microphone for it. And something else to keep in mind is that to see an app on this list, you must be using it right now. If you're not, you won't see it. The reason why you see Zoom on this list is because I have it opened. And as you can see, if I close it, it's gone. So make sure you are using the app to see it on this list. <sighs> well, what if you tried everything, including making sure that the microphone is not muted 
and that everything is plugged in correctly and nothing seems to work, well, it could very well be that the sound chip inside your laptop or computer is broken. If that is the case for you, then consider using a USB microphone. Why that? Well, unlike the ones that come with a 3.5 millimeter jack, USB microphones have their own sound chip. And as a result, they don't rely on what is in your computer, what comes with your PC. They are completely independent. And happily, it's very easy to find an affordable USB microphone online. For instance, if you do a search on Amazon, you can find pretty decent USB microphones. You can buy very affordable headsets or you can get something that's right in the middle. Not too expensive, not too cheap. Like this one right here, it provides excellent, excellent sound quality for the price. So definitely consider using that if you are constantly having microphone issues regardless of what you do. And there you go, in just about 7 minutes you learn how to fix microphone issues on Windows 10. So definitely for more videos like this that are simple, straightforward, please subscribe and thanks for watching.